What if a meteor hit Earth again? 66 million years ago, Earth had one of its worst days. A mountain-sized meteor slammed into the planet. Dinosaurs, gone. Oceans, boiled. Atmosphere, toasted. All because a space rock said, surprise. But what if it happened again? What if, right now, there's a giant rock floating through space, and it's got Earth's name on it? Here's the twist. There are thousands of them. We call them near-Earth objects NEOs, and some mo. They're very near. NASA tracks over 30,000 of these objects. A few of them pass closer than satellites, closer than your ex who needed space. In fact, one recently passed just 3,600 kilometers above Earth. That's airplane altitude. So what if one hits? Depends on the size. Small meteor. Gives fireball and viral TikTok footage. Big one. Gives grab a helmet. 90% of life says goodbye. A massive meteor would cause earthquakes, tsunamis, firestorms, volcanic-like winter from sunlight blocking dust, and, for bonus points, extinction-level chaos. Basically, planet reset. But wait, we have scientists, right? Can't we just nuke it like an Armageddon? Not that easy. Space is big. Meteors are fast. And aiming a rocket at a flying rock is like throwing a dart at a bullet. Blindfolded. On a trampoline. Still, humanity has plans. Use gravity tractors. Smash it with kinetic impactors. Or, if we're desperate, Braylon tweets a solution. So far, We've been lucky, but Earth will get hit again. Maybe in 1,000 years. Maybe next Tuesday. The point, we're fragile. Life is chaotic. And the sky, not always friendly. So, next time you wish upon a star, make sure it's not headed straight for you.